All right, so we've got to find the slope between these two points, and then we're going to graph both of the points on the graph and get the rise and the run from the graph as well, which I think is kind of a fun way to do it because it means you're doing the, the formula, but you're also graphing it so you get to see the whole picture. Um, so the formula is M, the slope, equals the difference between the y's, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, the difference between the x's. And what is all this x1, y1 stuff? Well, this is the first point, x1, y1. This is the second point, x2, y2. What do these annoying little subscripts mean? They don't mean anything. It's just this is like they, they give you a 1 because it's the first point and a 2 because it's the second point, right? So, so anyway, all we have to do is say, okay, that means our m equals, and, and what I try to teach is let's do parentheses minus parentheses over parentheses minus parentheses. So we'll just write that down with blank. Don't put the numbers in yet. And that just helps us to organize in case there's negative numbers, for example, right? So we just stick in the y's, the difference between the y's over difference between the x's. Um, and, and so y2 is the number 2, so put that there. y1 is the first y value, which is negative 3, put that there, right? So you have 2 minus negative 3 at the top, and on the bottom, the difference between the x's, 5 minus 2. And so that gives us... 2 minus negative 3. I've got $2. I subtract a debt of 3 or a cancel a debt of 3. That's like giving $3. So you have 5 on the top. Or we can remember if there's a negative, subtract a negative, you go blam, blam, plus, plus, And that makes 5 on the top. And on the bottom, 5 minus 2 is 3. Are we okay with that? Yeah. Good? All right, cool. And so that's the slope. M. The, they give the letter M for the slope. How weird is that? Sorry about that, everybody. Um, and now what we're going to do is on the graph here, we're just going to graph both of the points, or plot both of the points, draw a line through it, and then get the rise over run. So we'll start with this point, 2, negative 3. X is 2, Y over 2, and then down 3. 1, 2, 3. So 2, negative 3 is here. And uh, 5, 2. X is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And y is 2, that's there. And then we draw a line through it. And we need a ruler. And um, this looks really bad because you guys, this teacher doesn't even have a ruler right now. It's not terrible. But I'm using this uh, little um, here. Um, And so that is the line that goes through the two points. And what we found is the slope of the line, which is the rise over the run. And if I go from this point to this point, I'll go over one, two, three, and stop underneath it. So that's a run of three. And then I go up one, two, three, four, five. That's a rise of five. And so three is the run, five is the rise. So we have rise over run because that's what the slope is. The slope M is rise over run, which is 5 over 3. Okay with that? Yes. All right. <clears throat> I think that works out. I'm just going to put that graph up to the screen for any students who want to see that closely. And the next one is negative 3, negative 2, uh, 1, 3. And what I'll say is, why don't you give that one a go yourself there. And um, so students, press pause on the video and um, try it yourself, and then we'll go through it. Um, but that's kind of silly because I'm teaching this live, so I might as well do it. Um, so again, we have um, our slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And what I like to do is write that as parentheses minus parentheses over parentheses minus parentheses. And then plug in the numbers. 
Bart says X1, Y2 business. This is the first point, X1, Y1. This is the second point, X2, Y2. And so what you do is you get the difference between the Ys. So the Y2 minus Y1, which is 3, minus negative 2. And then the difference between the Xs, which is X2, 1, minus X1, negative 3. Okay? Are we okay with that? Yes. Awesome. And now we have a negative negative. $3, take away a debt of 2, means a debt of 2 has been cancelled. You now have 5 Dollars or negative negative makes plus plus three plus positive two is five. On the bottom, one minus negative three is one dollar. Cancel a debt of three, which means um, I get three dollars. So now I have four. Or subtract a negative plus plus, and it's one plus positive three. That's four. So our slope should be five over four. We're going to put it on the x y axis. And we plot both points, draw a line through it, and then get the rise over run. So negative 3, negative 2. X is negative 3, Y is negative 2 is down there. X is 1, Y is 3, that's up there. And then put a line through that. and then get the slope of the line with the rise and the run. So I'm going to start on the left point and get to the right point. So I'm going to run until I'm underneath it, and then I'm going to rise. So there's two ways to get from one point to another on a line like that. You can either go up the diagonal or you can go over and then right over horizontally and up vertically. So how far did we go across? How far did we go up? Run is like running along the road. We went one, two, three, four, running along the road. That's the run. And we rose, we went up like a balloon. One, two, three, four, five. The, the rise is five. And so we have rise over run equals five over four. Are you okay with that? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. I'm just going to put that up to the screen for any students that want to pause and have a look at that if you're stuck. Cool. And then